Good morning, viewers. You might have noticed that I didn't post a video yesterday. Well, yesterday kind of sucked, and at the end of it, I really didn't feel like battling editing software, so I did film a video, I filmed a movie review, and you will probably be seeing it at some point, but I decided to give myself a day off yesterday. So, now with that out of the way, let's talk about Aristotle. This is That's not all. Perfect, great way to start off a video, make excuses, and then rip off a popular vlogger. Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about Aristotle, although I am going to talk about something that Aristotle said. Among the many, many quotes attributed to Aristotle, one of these quotes goes something like this. A probable impossibility is preferable to an improbable possibility. Now, what does that mean? Well, it goes something like this. A probable impossibility is something like space travel as envisioned by Gene Roddenberry for Star Trek. Is it probable? Is it likely to happen? Well, maybe someday, given the evolution of technology, but is it possible right now? No. An improbable possibility is something like winning the lottery. Is it likely to happen? Pfft, no, you're more likely to get struck by lightning. But is it possible? Sure. A little confusing, I know, and there's obviously a lot of overlap between these two things, but that's the gist. Now let's talk about this as it relates to stories, because Aristotle was talking about it as it relates to stories, and also I'm wearing a hat and standing in front of the bookshelf background. So let's say you want to write a story. Let's say you want to write a story that assumes that magic is real, and that some children are born with magic, and that when they turn 11 they receive a letter inviting them to attend a school for witchcraft and wizardry. That is an example of a probable impossibility. It's impossible within the world as we know it, but it's probable within the impossible world that was created. My brain hurts. Let's say we get to the end of the story. Harry Potter has destroyed all of the Horcruxes. He's in this final lockdown with Voldemort. He tells Voldemort that he's going to kill him and that this is going to end right here. And Voldemort, not being able to take the stress anymore, suffers a massive heart attack and dies. Is that likely to happen? Well, no, especially not within the confines of the magical world where wizards and witches probably don't suffer from heart attacks. So maybe that wasn't the best example, but I'm going to go with it anyway. However, it is a possible, if unlikely, possibility. But while we are perfectly willing to accept the impossibility of a magical school for witchcraft and wizardry, we are not going to accept that scenario for the end of the Harry Potter series, because it is an improbable possibility. Right? Well, maybe. Wait until the end of the video. That is what Aristotle meant when he said that a probable impossibility was preferable to an improbable possibility. When we are reading or watching or listening to stories, there are certain things that we will accept. Stories require us to suspend our disbelief, and so if a story needs us to believe in magic, we will, while we are experiencing that story, believe in magic. But once we get into that world, and once the rules of that world are established, then there's only so far that our disbelief is going to continue to be suspended. Aristotle claims that our disbelief will not be suspended so far as to believe in improbable possibility. So if a character from the story just suddenly happens to win the lottery and that solves all of his problems, we're not going to accept that because it's not a likely turn of events. But if the same character wins the lottery because he's a time traveler and he's been established as a time traveler and he went to the future and looked up the winning lottery numbers and then came back and gave them to his wife, that scenario we will accept. But let's really look at this. Let's really look at the idea of an improbable possibility. An improbable possibility assumes that even though something is not likely to happen, it could happen. And my argument is, isn't that pretty much what all stories do? A word that is thrown around in criticisms of stories a lot of times is the word realistic. Something isn't realistic. Well, what does that mean? Does it mean that there are too many improbable possibilities? Maybe, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that improbable possibilities occur in stories all the time. I mean, think about it. Stories usually contain some symbolism and metaphors within the story itself. Do you really think that it's probable that these things would just happen to appear in real life? Of course not. It's possible, but it's not probable. Those things are improbable possibilities, but we still accept them because they help tell the story better. In fact, I would argue that all stories, all fictional stories outside of the realms of sci-fi and fantasy are in fact themselves improbable possibilities. Now this also gets into the question of things that we choose to notice, but that's a video for another time. In order to tell stories effectively, you have to have improbable possibilities, and you have to be able to write them effectively. 
The scenario that I talked about with the Harry Potter series, the reason why we wouldn't accept that scenario is not because it's an improbable possibility, but because it would be bad storytelling. There has to be setup and build up for all of those things, and for the Harry Potter story, that scenario had not been set up at all. And this is why I hated the ending of My Sister's Keeper so much. It was an improbable possibility. But even though it was a possibility, that possibility was not set up in the previous chapters of the story. So my argument to Aristotle would be that it's not that we prefer probable impossibilities to improbable possibilities. It's that we prefer good storytelling to bad storytelling. Which, let's be honest, is kind of a no-brainer. I'll see you all next time. No bloopers today. Sorry. I'm just awesome. <laughs>